this is Airbnb, first night in Denmark. Absolutely lovely place. Little flat scratchage complex after there used to be stables and farm buildings. It's a gallery and some other bits and bobs. We have a nice little twin room. We're going to head south, head sort of um, towards Hamburg, I think, today. It's going to be hot though. Or hotter than we used to, it's going to be like 24 degrees, so it bodes well. So Mark's had a bit of a moment already on the cobbles. And uh, he's not an off-roader. He doesn't like it. Oh. <laughs> and I've just had one and all. Right, walk a bike over, we've got stuff on the gravel and shut the gate. <sighs> yeah, just swimming pool here and it's an art gallery. Everything in the hotel in the accommodation was for sale. All had a price on it. Yeah, this pea gravel is very, very deep. So there we go, that's where we stayed last night. Farm 61. Yep, Bearings Brawl. Absolutely fantastic. Found it on booking.com. Uh, worth every penny, I think. It's what we've been paying for uh, chalets and things. Or oh, heat this. But um, with a uh, inside with a swimming pool and everything. Just crack on. See where we're going. Where's Mark then? There he is. Oh, can't believe the difference in the weather. Farm 61, there we go. Oh, well, the scenery, I touched on it a bit yesterday in the rain, is very similar to Lincolnshire, Cambridgeshire, that sort of area. Reminds me very much of home where my parents live. It's quite flat, quite featureless. Lots of agriculture. Mm, smell like a damp dog. Um, yeah, we, when we got off the boat yesterday, it either smelt like uh, sort of slurry on the fields or cabbages. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got found the place, no problem at all. In the rain, I've never ridden in rain like it, even on this trip. It was just relentless. Oh, Mark's having a a common flab on his up. Ooh, brakes are a bit. Ooh. Right, so we're going to go to uh, Billund today, which is uh, where they make Lego, where Lego originates from, where the Danish Lego land is. So we're just going to go there, why not? With big kids at heart. We're not going to go to Lego land, obviously, because we don't have a day to spend kicking small children off for uh, fun fair rides. I don't think their parents would be too happy either. So we're going to uh, just go there, take some photos. Chillax, it's heading in the right direction. It's on smallish roads. Still unsure of the speed limits and things here, so I'm relying on my sat nav, hoping it's right. I've got a spot of rain on the inside of my visor. It's really annoying. Well, we've found that final level filling station, a shell one. Not attended by any uh, Scandinavian lovelies, I'm afraid. And my sat now doesn't know where the hell it's going because Mark's got his set on extreme windy road, avoiding everything that uh, might not be fun. And my, my sat nav's getting in a right angle. But it says we should be going in completely the opposite direction. We're at uh, ANS, A N S, or just leaving ANS. They love a speed bump in Denmark as well, they love a speed bump. Normally have three or four in each village. And uh, obviously the, there's a distinct lack of trees. So all the houses are made in um, brick now. Well, we've stopped in Beeland and we've had a disgusting cake and uh, coffee combination. So now we're going to make our way to Germany. Just back up the road is, a, is the original Lego uh, headquarters. So we 
took some photos of that. That was quite interesting. They had a lot of the uh, older models on display, but you couldn't take a photo of them very well because of the uh, the tint on the windows, something fading. But no, it's nice. Everything, all the bricks are made of like Lego bricks. Very tidy time. Very uh, very nice coffee shop we went in. Very friendly people. Very clean. There's no uh, no litter or anything. You might expect for the amount of tourists they have, but most of the tourists go to uh, don't go in the town. They go to the obviously to Lego Land itself. But yeah, no, somewhere else to tick off the list. Yeah, Germany is only about 200 k's away. Uh, Hamburg, which I put in, is 288 k's away. So we're comfortably going to be into uh, Germany tonight. Find somewhere to stay, and then we we'll make our way. Oh, there's Lego down there. We'll make our way down to uh, Holland, where we're going to stay at the Motorsure Motorcycle Hostel. And then uh, we've got an easy day tomorrow to catch the ferries home. Or easy day the day after, that will be Friday, to catch the, day, catch the uh, R&D equipment technology. So this is Lego headquarters, industrial state. So we've got a day at uh, night at Motorsure, um, and then there's a big Lego bricks, and then we're off to catch a ferry, which Mark's goes about half past two in the afternoon, up to Newcastle, and mine goes about ten o'clock at night, back to sunny Essex. So um, we've got loads of time for more Lego bricks just thrown in the hedge. Well, I've stopped at my way services. A, because I needed fuel, and B, because there's a massive accident on the motorway. Let's try and find the keys. And, um, yes, yeah, so we've had a bit of a break here. It is moving, but ever so slowly. <sighs> but there seems to be a lot of traffic nipping down the back, so we're just going to try that. There's one now. It'll probably only pop us out 100 yards up the road, but it's worth a go. What's worse can happen? It says something about we're not supposed to go down here, but needs must. It appears to be a little vague. Hopefully this will run parallel with the motorway for a while. Which it appears to do. Well, we're just coming up to the source of the crash. We've done a big loop, chopped out most of the traffic. So we're having we on the bus. There's the police lady that scared the sh absolute bejesus out of me earlier. That just suddenly appeared right up my back pocket. There she is. Leaning on a spade. It's like a UK police officer. Oh, that's a caravan that's been on fire. That's their holiday ruined. Hopefully they're on their way back and not on their way there. Don't want to let the gas on. Probably a, a tire blowout or something like that. Or a brake sticking on. Either way, not a very nice thing to happen. So we're back on the road again. 